Hello everyone, Gary Simon of designcourse.com. Welcome to this week's design challenge number 24. And this challenge, you're tasked with designing this. Not the beer bottle, but the logo that goes on the beer bottle instead for a fictional company. And don't worry, I'll provide you with that file. Uh, so why? I figured it'd be fun to combine my two favorite things in life, alcohol and logo design. So let's switch over to the monitor and I'll go over all of the details and the roles. But before we do that, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube and check out designcourse.com. All right, so here is the contest thread and very simple, uh, the requirements, there's not much here. Just design a logo for a fictional beer company and place it on the bottle graphic that's linked in the requirements. So you're free to name the company, whatever you like and use this beer bottle template. If you click on it, it's just going to download a file and open that up in Photoshop. Submission deadline, of course, is Sunday, May 31st at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then here's just some inspiration here. Um, when you open up that graphic, this is what you're going to be presented with. And I uh, basically, if you take a look at the layers over here, it'll say label here, and this is a smart object layer. So if you double click it, it will open it up in a new window. And this is where you put your design. So if you wanted to have kind of like a black wrap around right here, then th that's what you would, you could just leave this layer here, this black layer, although you don't have to, uh, you could go ahead and hide it, save it, control S or command S on Mac. And you can see it's just right there. Probably best to leave some sort of wrapper there. Uh, and you can, of course, I uh, change it to a different color if you wish uh, by just going over here, color overlay, you know, making it like, I don't know, this color. I'm not sure what that's going to look like. Either way, it has a, a real interesting effect with these, these uh, filters and such. So, yeah, uh, have fun with it. Make sure when you save this, just get a file, save for web. Um, you could probably leave it at the size it is, although it's probably a little bit big for the um, form, but it doesn't really matter. You could probably just leave it at the size it is. All right, so I'm looking forward to the submissions. Check out designcourse.com and subscribe here on YouTube.